There is a lot to unpack from Rory McIlroy's extended interview with the Stick to Football podcast, which was released Wednesday. The four-time major winner has experienced it all over the last two years, during which he has been the PGA Tour's designated defender against the insurgent Saudis and their piff-backed Live Golf. McElroy's voice rang the loudest whenever Live Golf and the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia were discussed. McElroy is in his early 30s, the prime of his career, and in addition to defending Pont Vedra and Commissioner Jay Monahan, he eventually joined ranks with Tiger Woods to get players more involved in the future of the tour and take more control of a policy board that appeared to be floundering. McElroy spoke out and joined Woods at the famous meeting in Delaware during the 2022 BMW Championship. McElroy, then a policy board member, pushed for change. Despite all his work as one of the tour's leading voices, McElroy left the policy board in November while citing personal and professional commitments. Now free, McElroy has been unshackled from the role of unblinking defender of the PGA Tour and Monaghan. His first shot across the bow landed after John Ram left for live. And McElroy stated that Ram must be part of the next European Ryder Cup team in New York next year. Then, stunningly, McElroy said that he has accepted live as part of the sport, after spending years denouncing the idea. For two years, McElroy was clear on his position about live, but in one fell swoop, those comments were washed away. Now, one of the PGA Tour's staunchest allies is changing the narrative and questioning the business model of the professional game. The money for the purse comes from television networks and sponsors. Any money generated from hospitality, ticket sales, apparel or food and beverage goes to the tournament. And if any money is left after expenses, that goes to the charities involved with the event. But a new wrinkle in response to Live Golf has the tour attempting to milk additional money out the tournament to cover their mismanagement of the purses. That additional fee can come from only two places, the bottom line or the money donated to the charities. Finally, someone understands the dilemma the tour finds itself in. Golf's television ratings are down, the cost of sponsorship is up and the PGA Tour brand along with the professional golf brand, has taken a hit. The sport is no longer the best place to park your sponsorship dollars if you are a major corporation. It's still unclear whether the tour's new agreement with the PIF, which is reportedly still being hammered out, will make a big difference with sponsorship economics. McElroy has had a front-row seat to most of what has occurred since the first live event in London. He didn't come right out and say that the PGA Tour is in trouble or that its future is uncertain. But ultimately what is needed is more enlightened guidance and potentially someone else steering the ship.